Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, most people know that having high blood pressure isn't good for you and that they should have it checked regularly, especially if you have a family history of heart disease, heart attacks, or strokes. And I bring this up because this is something that my family and I have also had to deal with. However, beyond the basics, there's a lot of incorrect information about the cause of hypertension, including blood pressure mistakes that even your own doctor makes. So today, I'll quickly share five of these surprising blood pressure facts with you. Now, the first one is that too little salt can be a cause of high blood pressure. Now, most people know that too much salt is bad, but too little salt can also cause problems as well, especially if you have congestive heart failure. Now, your body's made up of salt water, which is what saline is if you go to the hospital, and so is most of the planet, again, made up of salt water. Thus, salt is natural and has many benefits. It helps regulate many functions in your body, especially with your muscles and your heart being one of these muscles. So but for most people, though, restricting your salt intake to less than 2,000 milligrams can actually raise your blood pressure. Now, what you want to do is eliminate or reduce the white table salt and the hidden salts found in you know snack and processed foods, soups, pickles, and so forth. But if you want to have salt, that's fine, but have natural salts such as uh, Celtic or or Himalayan because they contain minerals that help balance the sodium, such as magnesium, calcium, and potassium. Now, speaking of minerals, eating foods high in potassium is good because it balances your sodium intake. Uh, potassium also helps regulate your arterial walls and keeps blood pressure in a healthy range. Now, foods such as baked potatoes, especially with the skin, uh, coconut water, bananas, squash, and eggplants are high in potassium. However, if you don't like eating these foods, simply taking potassium pills throughout the day will help, and it's easy and convenient. Now, many doctors and nurses take um, inaccurate blood pressure measurements. Now, I remember once um, a nurse was taking my blood pressure reading while she was talking to me, and I was obviously speaking back to her. Now, my blood pressure reading was still healthy, but it wasn't accurate. So when taking your blood pressure, you should be relaxed and not talking, you know, sit up straight uh, in a chair with a back support with both your feet planted on the floor. Additionally, your blood pressure can vary uh, from your right or left arm, so it's best to test both arms for an accurate reading. Now, another surprising fact is that low blood pressure isn't a problem unless you have symptoms. Now, unless you're experiencing, you know, lightheadedness, uh, dizziness, or fatigue, having low blood pressure is fine. However, having high blood pressure without symptoms is not fine. And this is why hypertension is called the silent killer because many times you don't feel anything negative or any of these symptoms, but there's still a lot of strain on your body. And now the final and fifth thing is that exercise can increase your blood pressure. Now, exercise is great, and for most of us, it helps regulate and normalize your blood pressure, and it's a great stress reliever, and I highly recommend it. However, if you just jump right into your workout without some kind of warming up, your blood pressure may shoot up, or lifting heavy weights and pushing and straining can also cause a spike in your blood pressure. So you should always be doing a combination of cardiovascular and weights for total health. Just make sure that you warm up and also cool down at the end of your workout. So in summary, listen, having healthy blood pressure is very important for your health and longevity as well as your energy levels and the avoidance of a heart attack or stroke. And that's why I also have an additional and very important bonus video about this topic below about the real cause of high blood pressure and the five best foods for lowering it naturally. However, keep the following things in mind again. Avoid white table salt and hidden salts and prepackaged foods. Instead, use Celtic and Himalayan salts because they contain minerals to balance the sodium. Also, add in some potassium-rich foods or supplements, again, to balance your sodium and relax your arterial walls. Make sure you take accurate blood pressure readings. Um, also, low blood pressure without symptoms is fine, but not high blood pressure without symptoms. And finally, make sure you warm up and cool down with your workouts to prevent blood pressure spikes. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful and again, gave you clarity. If you like more information about this or similar topics, please subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'll be making more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you think someone else might benefit with today's topic, please share the health with an email or social media text or any way to help someone you care about. 
And don't forget to also leave your comments or questions below. And make sure you, so you also take a look at the bonus video below about the real cause of high blood pressure and the five best foods for lowering it naturally. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.